A serial killer is terrorizing the normally sleepy this streets of Salem. This crude drawing of a bell has been left at the scene of several murders Leading over the past few weeks. police refer to the murderer as the bell killer. We spoke with a public relations officer. Authorities are asking anyone with any leads to contact this the SPD's anonymous tip line. This picture of a bell, the calling card the police have yet to attach no any meaning or significance to, the has become follow. synonymous and with no the hysteria surrounding this murder. You're saying there are no leads? No leads at all? grow up on the streets, you start thinking you're invincible. Nothing can touch you. You never really lose. Go to arrest some freak, find out you aren't as invincible as you thought. What kind of name is Ronan? That kid stole my wallet! Time to make it official. Ah, it hurts! You steal my car, you pay the price! Ah. Under arrest for the assault and battery, Vincent Coulter. Guilty on two counts of grand theft auto. On the indictment of burglary. Grand larceny and assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs> Let me take it. <laughs> I can't have my sister marrying some bum, right? They do. Oh, yeah, I do. No. No, Julian. Stay with me, you hear me? Julia. No, stay with me. Stay with me. Your family wore felonies like badges of honor. Now you think this new badge covers all that up? You're a fucking criminal. You need to slow down, man. Right? This is crazy. I didn't know better. So you actually want to die. Turn around. You're under arrest. in my body, then maybe, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll wake up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Come on. Someone had to hear that glass shatter. I found you. Oh my God. Julia. I thought I'd never see you again. You look good. <laughs> I look better. God, I've missed you. I would give anything to be there with you. For us to be together again. But... But what? Not again, not you. If you're not here, where are you? It's the other side of the bridge. Bridge? What, what bridge? Where you are is a prison. Or a bridge. It all depends on how you see it. Either way, where you are isn't safe. Do you hear me? We need to get you across the bridge. You need to move on. Move on? Is that where you are? Don't worry about me. Something about your life isn't finished yet. We don't have much time. Think. What about your life feels unresolved? I don't know. To figure that out. Now go. No. Julia, you left me once and it destroyed me. Please, please don't leave me again. We'll see each other again, love. Just save yourself. No, no, no Julia! Don't leave me, Julia! Damn it! Hello? Uh, there's a man in the street outside the Regal Apartments bleeding. He's been shot. Send an ambulance. He's not breathing. My friend says he's not breathing. I can't feel a pulse. Uh, there's broken glass everywhere and, and a lot oh, of blood. Man. This is bad. Yeah, I'll stay on the line until help arrives. Hey, man. Can you hear me? Lady, please! Damn it. Hey, you! Hey, can you hear me? Come back! He's still warm. Never seen a dead person before. Uh, is there anything else we can do?
Why did you run? It gets old, giving counsel to the new ones. Don't take it personal. Running through walls, making things appear. You, you look like you've been here a while. You must know how this place works then. <laughs> works? This place isn't hard to understand. Figure out your gifts, and maybe you won't get trapped here. What do you mean, gifts? Your strengths in life are stronger in death. They become powers here. Some power is unique, some common. Possession, influencing people, manipulating the more fragile of ghostly objects to appear or disappear. Strengths become abilities. Door just hit me, but I'm passing through other stuff. What is it with this place? I thought I'd be able to walk through everything. We can't enter the buildings the people of Salem have consecrated. Save through an opening. An open drawer, or a window. But once inside, walls and doors hold no power over us. You'll know the ghostly objects we can't pass through by their blue glow. It will all seem logical in due time. I thought... Who are you? Looks like you've been here a while. Me? I'm just someone like you. But hear me when I say this is no playground. You can rob yourself of your future, or others can do it for you. What do you mean, others can steal my future? Demons. They were once like us, but lost themselves. They can never move on now and exist only to consume those lingering here. Those like us. I getcha. No, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. How could I rob my own future? You're here to resolve something. You don't resolve it, you don't leave. Don't worry, that's pretty common. Common? That's crazy. So, I need to figure out who killed me and stop him. That's the way I can get out of here. Well, best of luck to you. Wait, 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 there's more I need to know. Holy shit! Be careful out there. You never know what's waiting around the corner. Weird.
Seeing your own body lying on the street. It's like looking in a mirror you don't want to see but can't turn away from. And that's when you realize you no longer know which one's real and which is the reflection. Great idea, Baxter. Tamper with the evidence. Backup? Who needs backup? <laughs> you shouldn't have tried to be one of us. <laughs> Man, you were one dumb son of a bitch. <clears throat> Sir? Hey, 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 Baxter, hey! Hey, just get back to taking them statements. Come on. Yeah, I'm the stupid one. Look, this is not your scene, Lieutenant. Just pay your specs and move on, please. Yeah, maybe it's not my scene, but it is my case. Tomorrow it'll be my case, and the next day, until we catch it. You do well to remember that, Sergeant. Look, I'm just following Captain's orders here. You know the procedure when a family member is... Yeah, well... Take all the time you need, LT. I lost count of the times I wished you were dead. Do me a favor, con man. Tell Julie I miss her. She knows, Rex. She knows. I need to find my killer's trail before it goes cold. on Stewart's notepad, see what they've learned. So did, you, did you see the man in the hood? Yes. I saw him. He killed that man in the street. I see. Look at all these people. Let's go for It'd be nice to know what they're talking about. I gotta see if they found any leads that I don't already know about. Clues here have got to tell me something. Stay calm. People need the cops to be calm now. Glad I'm not a cop. This is all just so out of control. Why are cops so tight-lipped? Don't they know publicity will help them? It's like she hits a switch and she's on. 
I could never do what she does. Amazing. It's like she hits a switch and she's on. <laughs> are doing everything we can do. Seven to the chest. You really Point have... blank. You really have no idea when to quit, do you, Baxter? <laughs> Ever take a look at those tattoos of his? All that gangland prison crap? He was more criminal than cop. Yeah, you live like a thief, you die like a thief. He was still a badge, dickhead. here when it was happening. I tell people and it's like they think I'm in some movie. in the hood, outside, uh, looking up at, at the top apartment on the fourth floor, I think.
was it? The apartment up there must have some clues. Except that's my way in, and it's closed. Fantastic. Well, here's my chance. I just need to follow Stuart into the building. Hey, excuse me. Do I need to wait for someone to open a door every time I want to go inside? Yeah, any buildings that were consecrated can be a bit tricky getting into, but once you're inside, it's smooth sailing. Same goes for getting out. Open doors, windows, whatever. It's all fair game. How many buildings are like this? Around here? Pretty much all of them. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Thanks. something. Find it, then at least I'll know what happened. I've looked everywhere. Why did they do this to me? What if I never find it? If I only knew who it was, maybe I'd know where to look. You look lost. What's lost is my body. I know I got killed right here. And I know it sounds crazy, but but I'd feel a lot better if if I knew where my body was. Are you a detective or something? might be my only hope. Yeah, I'm a detective. Any idea who did it? That might lead us to your body. I know they were old people. And I know they lived in this apartment building. Other than that, everything is hazy. But I was doing a lot of drugs at the time. Sounds like you do need a detective. I'll see what I can find out from any older residents of the building. attack? No, I, I just... It was rhetorical for God's sake. Come on, don't look so lost. Take a look around or something. 
you know, spy a little. It's not like anyone's gonna stop you. Staring out the window. What good's that gonna do? Look at that poor excuse for a man. Won't even get out of his chair. Likes that chair more than me. Honey, they can probably hear you talking through the ceiling. I hope they do. Every time we visit Jennifer at this place, it's the same weird characters. That other lady on the second floor, she changes boyfriends like she changes sweaters. And my goodness, the racket. I know that upsets you, dear. And you know what else? Those guys on the third floor? You'd think they, they, they were trying to raise the dead. Speaking of dead, I'm pretty sure I heard shots outside. God, I wish she'd move out of this neighborhood. Are you listening to me? I need you to listen to me. My granddaughter needs a yard. Where does she play? The street? Hope he doesn't ask any questions. He'll know I've tuned him out. Gus needs some friends. Someone else who can listen to him yammer. Look around the room to see if I was still here. Look at that 
poor excuse for a man. Won't even get out of his chair. Likes that chair more than me. What are you still doing here? Have a little fun. paper when Grace hit her. I still can't believe she died. It happened so fast. I've never seen Grace so crazy before. It must have been the lack of sleep. Thank God it's all over. I can finally watch TV in peace. Finally sleep.
Looks like Grace couldn't take the girls partying anymore, so she killed her and roped her husband into helping dump the body at Smithwick Quarry. I should get back and let her know. out the reason you can't find your body is because it's not in the building it's at smithwick quarry about five miles out of town oh well why'd they do it your parties were keeping them awake at night they finally got too tired and snapped i i thought they were just being unreasonable i didn't know they would do this <sighs> thanks for your help you have no idea how big a relief it is just knowing. No problem. You know, I never really liked cops. And they were always giving me shit, telling me how I was messing up my life. We never saw eye to eye on things. But you really came through for me. Probably should have listened to what they were trying to tell me. Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Thanks again. How the hell did it come back? Did I do that? Hey, hey! Come back! Those notes aren't for you. Great. Looks like some sort of code or something. All right, well, I made it up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence. She's getting too much sugar. I mean, that keeps kids awake, right? Enjoy scaring kids? This little girl cost me everything. It was supposed to be a simple job. Easy money. What do you mean? She's just a kid. It don't matter what she is. Her daddy owed too much to the wrong people. She was just an insurance policy. Is that where you come in? A simple snatch and grab. After everything was settled up, I'd let her go. I'm guessing it wasn't so simple. That may be. But she owes me now. And I ain't leaving till her debt is paid. Cut your losses. It may be a while. Don't worry. I can wait. I've got nothing but time, my friend.
Just once, I'd like to have a nice phone conversation with an adult without interruption. and hope you'll let it through. It ain't about luck, Everine. You got that right, buddy. You might want to know that when you're looking at your sorry track record. Well, there's always some element of chance. Maybe you'll teach us some tricks, eh? Then I couldn't keep taking your lunch money, big guy. All right. Pull up your panties, gentlemen, and throw in some chips, Nate. Poor guys. I remember when I still thought poker was a game of chance. Good cards would help. Wanna let her win. But she's just gonna win anyway. I've had two birthdays while you've been thinking, Chumley. have a really strong hand you can't decide to play or not. Jeez.
Shit. Why'd you do this to yourself, kid? Voices. Those fucking voices. I was scared and alone. I just wanted them to stop. Why didn't you turn to someone for help? A doctor or a friend or something? No one listened. No one took me seriously. This was the only way to make them stop. There was just so much noise. to come to this.
Hey, it's... It's you! You're famous! Check out the TV! I'm good, thanks. This is by far the worst birthday party ever. What do you mean? We got brews? We got TV? What more do you want? Uh, I don't know. Party, maybe? Well, we could drive to Boston. Drive to Boston? I mean... I guess that's an idea. What... I mean, logistically speaking, how do we work that out? You want to take your car? Well, you make a good point. Parking and the driving and the gas and what a lot of hassle bro too much almost not to mention the gas prices these days Yeah, it's out of control. I'm wasting any gas sitting here. It's a good point Very good point. Yeah, it's only my birthday for a few more hours anyway. Yeah, then we get on to real life My party doesn't mean that I should do all the work Why can't adventures happen without going outside? Okay, folks, I need you to keep your distance from the scene here. What happened up here? I'm afraid that's still under investigation. Guy got thrown out of a window. We're still looking at the details. Thrown out of a window? By who? Yeah, who did it? Sorry, like I said, it's under investigation. Is the building safe? Yeah, is this building safe? Perp didn't stick around, if that's what you mean. No. They haven't caught the guy yet. But... They're pretty sure he's not around now. Officer Morgan. Don't want to be outside alone now. God, why can't I think of anything original to ask? Why does everyone need the gory details? No, he's not still here. Yeah, how do you know? Actually, they're not sounding so sure now. Can I come stay at your place for a few days? People, I understand your concern. I'd appreciate it if you just move along and let us do our work. God, why don't they just tell us? that little girl that lives here she turns up you come find me got it
was the killer doing here in the first place? What did I miss? Man, we gotta find these tenants. If they're still alive. Joy from harm, I would do anything, even push her away, if it meant pushing her to safety. I still remember seeing the ad for the Regal Apartments in the paper. It's easy for people to look at it and see a dingy, run-down shithole. But me? I saw a place with history and character. I saw a place full of artistic inspiration. Before I knew it, I was the official tenant of apartment 3A. Looking back on it, I wish I had never even unpacked. My new apartment turned out to have more character than I had anticipated. The carpets were occasionally soggy, the pipes were rusty, and I could hear the tenant below me banging against the walls and screaming at the top of his lungs. Sure, there were other problems with the place, but they just added to its charm. They were things I could live with. What I couldn't live with was showering in brown water, mysterious leaks molding the carpet, and obnoxious neighbors. I called the plumber, who arrived just as I was about to have a word with the people downstairs. 
When I showed him the wet spots on the carpet, he scratched his head and explained that nothing was leaking and that the reason for the wet spots was most likely due to me spilling something and not realizing it. Did this guy take me for an idiot? I never spilled a thing. He apologized and said that without a leak, there's nothing he could do. So he moved on to the shower. Thankfully, the water had no trouble turning brown. He thought it could be an issue with a rusty boiler and went to check it out. I took the opportunity to address the tenants below. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. In fact, I couldn't hear anything at all. I tried the door, expecting it to be locked, but it just swung open. I was shocked to find it completely empty. That's when wet footprints began to appear on the floor. They were headed right for me. Just then I could hear the plumber scream from the boiler room downstairs. By the time I ran down there, he was long gone, but he had discovered the source of the brown water. Packed into the old rusty boiler was a bloated, decomposing corpse. The police are still investigating the homicide, and the landlord has promised to renovate the boiler room. However, despite his efforts, 3A is back on the market, and I doubt I'll ever feel clean again. to finish investigating before I go somewhere else.
Turn around. You're under arrest.
So that's what I walked in on. Was he after the girl? Where'd she go? Get this photo to Rex for that Amber Alert. Man, we gotta find these tenants. If they're still alive. Church is always your deal. Out the window. Gun me down on the street and you didn't even check for witnesses? Like you're untouchable. That girl is my only lead. I need to find her. Still hate heights. <laughs> 